Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video because I get one question more than any other question it seems like. I get this question on my Facebook and my videos and everywhere and that is what is the best brand? Who's good, who's not? And one common trend that you'll see across our industry is most heating and air guys can just about all agree that the brand matters less than who installs it. So the installation or who installs it matters more than what brand you select. Of course, we all have our preferences. We may disagree on who's the best, but ultimately we can all agree that usually the installer matters more than the brand that they install. And so the question becomes, I've actually gotten this question, what does that mean? What does it mean to have a bad installer versus a good installer? And that's what this video is going to cover. In fact, if you found this video, we're gonna do a series of videos where we're gonna talk about bad installations, bad installers, and some examples that you as the homeowner can sniff out and find if you're getting a good installation or not. So check out this video, but check out the whole entire series. And our goal is to arm you to help you figure out if you're getting a good installation or not. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm gonna piggyback again off of some of the videos we've done. And we're gonna talk in this video about unfiltered air. We see it all the time. Folks will install new systems and they'll install them in ways they're getting unfiltered air pulled into that system. I've even seen brand new systems installed and within a year, because they didn't close up the secondary port and it was in a dirty location, it pulls that unfiltered air in there and that evaporator coil is awful it's in horrible shape and it's only a year old so unfiltered air it's like your enemy when you're talking about heating and air systems and little things like not having a screw in a hole and it's being able to pull unfiltered air in there maybe the cover's not on tight maybe there's a connection in the ductwork that's not sealed or properly installed and it's allowing unfiltered air to get in unfiltered air is a big huge deal that you do not want flowing through your heating and air system. Another one we'll see is drains not installed properly. We'll see folks install the drain and they'll put the vent in the wrong location, allowing unfiltered air to be pulled into that system. If you're the homeowner and you're not quite sure, I think some of it's just common sense. Just look at the system. Are there holes of some kind allowing that system to pull unfiltered air into that system? That's not something you want. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad, avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.